AAA forecasts around 120 million Americans will travel this Thanksgiving holiday season. And some for family, others for fun. Regardless, many travelers are trying not to bust their budget. Yeah, it doesn't sound like fun. Tyler Molito is live from Bluegrass Airport with how you can make memories that will last a lifetime without burning through your savings. That is certainly right. It's going to be one of the busiest holiday travel seasons on record. Whether it be people going to visit family or taking that dream vacation they've been planning all year long, it is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be probably some headaches or two, but again, a lot of fun. We're going to focus on that last point. If you are someone who's been planning a dream vacation, whether it be with family or with friends, you're going to want to listen to this. Similarly, how we mentioned in the last hour about gift buying, the number one thing you can do to have fun but be financially responsible, according to local financial and wealth advisors, is to plan accordingly. This means knowing where you are going, what is available to you in terms of activities, and knowing the people you are traveling with. If your travel crew, for example, is all about eating the best food possible, allocate more money for the best dinners possible. Whereas if they care more about maximizing fun, allocate more money for that. Now, if you're traveling with kids, which many of you are, chances are they're going to want every souvenir under the sun. I know I certainly did growing up, and it's hard for parents to say no to their kids. They want them to make memories and have a great time. So wealth advisors say you don't have to say no every single time, but it's all about balance. Every kid has a different interest in things that they have find fun. It could be as something as simple as going to a ball game and getting the free t-shirt that they have laying out on the seat or you know, maybe there, there's a specific player or jersey that they want to buy for that kid, right? Um, there's different ways that you can go about it as far as balancing out, hey, this is what I have money for versus I want to make sure my kid has the most fun experience possible. Now, one more piece of advice when you're traveling this holiday season, if you're using that credit card, make sure to get those receipts so that way you can keep track. Doesn't mean you have to be constantly looking at your budget, making sure you're staying under, but have something to make sure you're keeping track. So that way, when you look at that credit card bill, nothing comes out unexpectedly. And branching off of that, if you're charging things to your hotel rooms, as you would at many resorts, if you're traveling to a resort of some kind, periodically get that hotel room receipt. I say, well, again, there are no unexpected charges on that final bill and you can keep track throughout the course of your trip. Have a great holiday travel season. I know we got a long season ahead of us, but hey, if you're traveling this week, safe travels and have a great time. Krista, Paul, back over to you.